The night was draped in shadows as Remus, clad in somber attire, gathered with friends in a dimly lit room. They had come together to honor the memory of their departed friend, Alex, whose absence left a void in their lives. As they reminisced and shared tales of their adventures, a familiar scent wafted through the air, a lingering aroma of cannabis. In an attempt to find solace amidst the grief, Remus reached for a joint, its end glowing like a tiny ember in the darkness. As he took a deep inhale, a cloud of fragrant smoke enveloped him, momentarily transporting him to a place of tranquility. The familiar effects of the cannabis began to wash over him, easing his sorrow and releasing his mind from the weight of his grief. Lost in his thoughts, Remus closed his eyes, allowing the gentle waves of relaxation to carry him away. But when he opened his eyes, he froze in disbelief. Standing before him, ethereal and translucent, was Alex, the very friend they had come together to mourn. Remus's heart raced as he tried to comprehend the impossible. Was this a trick of his mind, a manifestation of his grief? Fueled imagination, or was there something more inexplicable at play? His friends, caught off guard by Remus's stunned expression, turned their gaze toward him and gasped in disbelief. As the room fell into an eerie silence, Alex's ghostly figure smiled, a bittersweet expression etched across his face. The air grew heavy with anticipation, as if time itself had paused to witness this inexplicable reunion. Remus, trembling, but filled with an overwhelming surge of emotions, found his voice. Alex, is it really you? He whispered, his voice laden with both hope and fear. Alex's apparition nodded, its spectral form shimmering in the low light. Yes, my friend, came his voice, faint and distant, yet filled with a sense of longing. I am here to guide you and provide closure. Questions tumbled through Remus's mind as he mustered the courage to speak. Why have you come back? What do you want from us? Alex's ghostly presence floated closer, his voice carrying a weight of wisdom beyond the grave. I have returned to ensure that you find peace, my dear friend. There are unresolved matters, secrets that need uncovering, and messages that need to be shared. As Remus absorbed Alex's words, his friends gathered around, a mix of curiosity, apprehension, and wonder etched upon their faces. Together, they embarked on a journey, a quest to uncover the truths buried in the shadows, the secrets that Alex had carried to his grave, Guided by the spectral presence of their departed friend, the group ventured into uncharted territories, both physical and emotional. They uncovered forgotten memories, hidden truths, and the profound impact Alex had left behind. Each revelation brought them closer to understanding the purpose of his return and the closure they desperately sought. But as they delved deeper into the mystery surrounding Alex's passing, they soon realized that their quest was not without peril. Dark forces, attracted by the ethereal connection between the living and the departed, sought to disrupt their pursuit of truth. They encountered twisted apparitions, encountered eerie whispers in the wind, and faced their own inner demons, all while desperately clinging to their collective resolve. In the heart of their journey, Remus confronted his deepest fears and regrets, the weight of which had burdened his soul since Alex's departure. It was through the guidance of his spectral friend that he found the strength to confront his own demons, to acknowledge his role in their shared history, and to seek forgiveness, both from himself and from Alex, as their quest reached its climax. A moment of reckoning awaited them, a choice that would forever alter their lives. Remus and his friends stood at a crossroads, the veil between the living and the dead hanging precariously before them. In a final act of courage, Remus faced Alex's apparition and spoke with resolute determination. Alex, my friend, I am ready to let go. I release you from any lingering ties, knowing that your spirit will forever remain in our hearts. May you find peace in the realms beyond. With those words, Alex's ghostly figure shimmered, a radiant light surrounding his ethereal form. His presence slowly faded leaving behind a profound sense of closure and a deep understanding that some bonds transcend the boundaries of life and death. As Remus and his friends emerged from the shadows of their shared journey, they couldn't shake the feeling that something else was watching them, something malevolent that had been disturbed by their interactions with the supernatural. As they made their way back to the safety of their homes, an eerie silence hung in the air, broken only by the distant howling of the wind. Unbeknownst to them, a dark presence had been awakened, drawn by the potent combination of grief, cannabis, and the secrets that had been unearthed. That night, as they tried to find solace in their beds, 
an unsettling sense of foreboding lingered. The atmosphere grew thick with dread as the malevolent force began to infiltrate their dreams. Nightmares plagued their minds, vivid visions of malevolent spirits and haunting echoes from the past. It soon became apparent that the cannabis, once a source of comfort, had become a conduit for the malevolent energy to reach them. The nightmares grew more intense with each passing night, pushing them to the brink of madness. They tried to seek help, but the darkness seemed to envelop everything around them, isolating them from the outside world. As they struggled to maintain their grip on reality, Remus and his friends realized that the malevolent force was feeding on their fear, their guilt, and their grief. They knew they had to confront the dark presence to find a way to sever its hold on their lives. Gathering their strength, they returned to the place where they had first encountered Alex's apparition. The room where they had celebrated his life and unwittingly awakened the malevolence, armed with courage and a renewed sense of purpose, they faced the darkness head on. Within the room, the atmosphere thickened with malevolence, the air tainted with the stench of malevolent spirits. As they lit candles to cast away the shadows, they chanted words of protection, seeking to reclaim the space from the sinister force that had taken residence. Their voices resonated, and the room seemed to push back, resisting their efforts to banish the malevolence. It fought to maintain its hold, conjuring terrifying illusions, preying on their deepest fears. But Remus and his friends stood strong, their bonds of friendship and their shared memories of Alex acting as a shield against the malevolence. They poured their love for their departed friend into their chant, hoping to reach his spirit and free him from the clutches of the darkness. In a sudden surge of power, the malevolence seemed to waver, as if its grip had been loosened. The room quivered, and the nightmares that had plagued them for nights on end started to subside. In a final crescendo of determination, they chanted louder, their voices melding into a harmonious chorus of strength and unity. With one last surge of energy, the malevolence was forced to retreat, dissipating into the shadows from whence it came. As the malevolent presence faded away, a sense of relief washed over them. They knew that their struggle was far from over, but they had taken the first step toward reclaiming their lives and finding peace. In the days that followed, Remus and his friends remained vigilant, knowing that the malevolence might try to return, but they had learned the power of unity, the strength of love, and the courage to face their darkest fears. With their bond as friends stronger than ever, they vowed to protect one another and honor the memory of Alex by living their lives to the fullest. The cannabis, once a catalyst for their encounter with the supernatural, was now a symbol of their resilience, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope and friendship could prevail. And so they moved forward knowing that they 